Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing great. In today's video, we're gonna be covering all of the new information that's just dropped in the latest Pokemon Presents and brand new Scarlet and Violet trailer. There's a lot to cover in today's video, but we'll try and analyze everything as best as possible. But before we jump into anything, please, if you do enjoy this video, get down there, smash that like button, and also hit the subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any news in the run-up to these games dropping in November. So like I said, we've got a lot to cover in today's video so let's head over to the official Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website which has been updated and all the information and a few extra bits that weren't in the actual trailers is in here so we're going to be using this as our reference today and going through everything. We have finally got the region name. Paldea is the region that these games Scarlet and Violet will be based on which is very exciting to have the name finally and you can finally see the region map as well so we've got a really clear image here of the region all of the different terrains that are involved and going to be accessible in these games and it looks like there's going to be a real diversity here. The website goes on to further say your adventure takes place in Paldea region, a land of vast open spaces dotted with lakes, taran peaks, wastelands and perilous mountain ranges. Along the way all sorts of trainers will be adventuring and honing their skills with Pokemon battles. You can find lots of people and Pokemon living together in a variety of locations ranging from a farming village with bountiful harvest to a port town with bustling marketplace. There are also Pokemon living in treetops, rivers and all sorts of other locations in the wilderness and they're all just waiting to meet you. So there's lots of different terrains here. Your adventuring companion, the Rotom Phone. So this is confirming that the Rotom Phone will be in these new games. You're going to have apps that are accessible in the Rotom Phone that will have like the map and other things available to help you along your journey which is pretty cool and then Pokemon centers have been confirmed to be these gas station sort of areas where you'll be able to go up to you'll be able to hear your Pokemon and presumably buy items as well at the Pokemon which is confirmed down here depending on the version of the game you have the Pokemon that will appear will differ so this is just kind of confirming that there will be version exclusives in the games you can see in Scarlet uh, you're gonna have Larvitar so Tyranitar and Sojourner and then then in Violet you're going to have Bagon which would be your Salamence and then Ice Q as well so I'm presuming there will be more region exclusives these are the only ones that we've got so far but as soon as we do get any more information on that we'll cover it as and when but very exciting to get the region name happy with it it's a nice sounding place as well Paldea can't wait to visit it the other thing that we're going to cover today is we got some more information on the box legendaries so Karayadon and Moriadon are the two legendaries Legendary Pokemon we know a little bit about but it has confirmed today that they are going to be your ride along Pokemon in these adventures so during your adventure you will meet the legendary Pokemon either Karaidon or Moraidon that's dependent on the version that you've got and it will join you on your journey. Karaidon and Moraidon are full of mystery and said to have power that far surpasses that of other Pokemon. It seems Coridon and Maridon have even more forms than those we've already discovered. These Pokemon are capable of changing their forms to better suit what they're doing or what terrain they're traveling over. So as you can see here, we've got a few kind of screenshots of different terrain that they'll be going over. So it's pretty much gonna be your kind of travel companion around the Paldea region. So then it goes on to go in a bit more depth about what riding modes we have. Spiriting, build and drive mod. Travelling through Paldea on foot can be quite a hassle if you learn how to ride Sprinting, Build, Coriadon or a Drive mod Mariadon, you'll be able to traverse the expanse Paldea region more freely and at full speed. So it's pretty much just like your bike I would imagine um, but it's interesting that they talk about different builds so you're going to probably have to do things to get them to turn into the different ways of traveling I guess or unlocking those. Uh, you've got the swimming build as well which is going to allow you to travel through water, the gliding build which will be able to fly and things like that. So these are all builds I would imagine you're going to be able to access by doing certain things in game or at least I would expect them to. So that is very exciting. We're going to probably get those from the very start. The next thing we'll look at is the oldest school in Paldea region. So at Naja Academy and Yuva Academy you can meet new people, new Pokemon and new you. In the center of Paldea sits the largest city of the region, Mesagoza. Uh, it is here that you'll find a school boasting a history that few other schools do where people from 
from all sorts of regions come to hone their skills against each other, be it through academics or Pokemon battles. Age is not an issue in enrollment here, so a wide range of age groups from children to adults take the same classes which mostly relate to Pokemon. It seems there are a few classes that you can take with Pokemon too. So there's stuff that you're going to be able to do with Pokemon and opens the door up to a lot more things to do in the games, especially with the academy here. In Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the name of the school, its emblem, its uniform and other details will differ depending on the game versions you are playing. So you can imagine that the Scarlet version is going to be the orange and the Violet will be the grapes um, and their names respectively. Set out from your school for a grand adventure, the special independent study project, the treasure hunt, which is one of three story modes or storylines that they've said in the trailer that you'll be able to take part in. As a main character, you will be enrolling at the academy. Of course, you will not be alone at this school. You will have also have friends you can sharpen your skills against like Nimona, who's been described as your kind of battle kind of mentor, uh, Arvin and Penny, who Penny I think is the rival in this story. In addition to unique teachers, you will also teach you uh, that what they know about battling, Pokemon biology and more. This academy is also where director Clavel will give you and your friends an independent study assignment, the treasure hunt. So that's the big one that we've already mentioned. Where will you go? Who will you meet? What will you accomplish? Embark on a journey across Paldea to gain new experiences, meet new people and find your very own treasure. Then we got the people at the academy along with the director Cavill. Uh, there are many other members of the faculty at the, the academy. So we've got Cavill there and then we've got Jack uh, who's the biology teacher I believe then the other ones are Arvin Arvin is gonna be I think Arvin was the one that they mentioned was a good cook Arvin is an upperclassman in the Academy is good at cooking there we go and is researching healthy recipes that can help Pokemon feel better he'll be asking you to help him out since he isn't good at Pokemon battles and then we've got Penny here as well and uh, she's described as shy, I think, in the trailers. Penny is in the same grade as you. She is a bit of a shy personality, and for some reason, she doesn't seem to come to the academy very often. She is especially fond of her fluffy Eevee bag and always has it on her back. So there we go, a little bit about Penny, who is supposedly the rival in these games. So that's a bit of information about the school and stuff like that. And then what we're gonna do now is talk about the different ways you can experience the games. Now, I've already touched upon upon the three different methods that they said you've got to explore and enjoy in these stories, but then it goes into a bit more detail here. The story unfolds the way you want it to. Weave three grand stories into your adventures as you meet Pokemon you've never seen uh, and unique characters. These titles have the hallmark Pokemon story of going to gyms and aiming to become the champion, but there is no set path. You can go whichever gym you want and challenge in the order you desire. So that's pretty cool. We kind of already got that hinted at as well, but the fact that you can go to any gym and challenge them at any point when you want is pretty cool for the first time we'll be able to do that. Furthermore, there are two other grand stories besides the pursuit of becoming champion and many trials and tribulations await you in those stories as well. Please look forward to finding out what kinds of stories they are. Furthermore, you can freely go back and forth between all three stories, allowing your adventure to develop in a way that you want it to. Some may want to reach the rank of champion and rush through to the gyms, while others might want to adventure at their leisure. At times, searching for Pokemon or meeting all sorts of people. Everyone can experience the game the way they want to. Being able to make your very own story is one of the hallmarks of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, which is very exciting. And what, by the way, I say you've got the gym battles here is one, then you've got the racing, I guess, is the other, and then the treasure hunt. And this is this might be an indicator here. This flower, this glowing flower, might be the thing that we're actually going around to. I guess it could be a clue or it could be things that we're collecting in regards to the treasure hunt. And this is why I say there's three kind of aspects here. So aim for champion rank. The Paldea region has a Pokemon league and a special class of pro ranked Pokemon trainers who have achieved the champion rank. There is no set path to the gyms. You can purposefully seek out a stronger gym leader or you can simply stop by a gym that happens to be located in a town you came across on your journey. This time you get to plot your very own path along Victory Road. So maybe there is no level scaling. Maybe here when they're saying, you know, purposely seek out a stronger gym leader, maybe they're all just set and some of them are just stronger like in normal games than other ones but you can go and challenge whichever one you want in whatever order you want. If you beat all eight gyms, 
spread across the region and collect their gym badges, you will be able to take on a special test called the champion assessment. If you successfully pass the assessment, your strength will be acknowledged and you will be given the champion rank, making you an object of admiration for other trainers. Polish your skills with many Pokemon trainers and aim for the glorious champion rank. So here we go. Got a few pictures of the kind of the uh, gym. This is the ice gym, I think that we saw in the trailer and just a few pictures about some battles in there and this symbol here indicates that it's it's going to be the the kind of the gym leader challenge symbol for this region gym leader of the glacido gym is grusha grusha used to be a professional snowboarder but he is now the gym leader of the glacido gym full time he is an ice type specialist who has Satitan as its partner he is usually cool headed but when battles get heated he starts showing the emotion he usually keeps pushed down and this is Gusha. So this is Gusha here, the ice type gym leader and Satitan, that brand new Pokemon that we got unveiled as well in the trailer, which looks an absolute monster. It's a very strange looking design, but I do like it. It looks like a cool ice type and something that I look forward to learning a little bit more about and hopefully playing around with but that's one of the gym leaders that we've got confirmed we also have some brand new pokemon that got unveiled in today's trailer and we are gonna have a look at those now we've already had sprigatito fukoko quaxley Coriadon and Moriadon and the, the first thing that we probably got a quick look at was the Palladian Whooper, uh, which is poison ground type, which is a very unique typing. I don't know if we've got a poison and ground typing that exists in the game yet, but it looks cool. We kind of knew from the leaks that we were going to get a, a regional form of Wooper, but it has been confirmed and it was very quickly glanced over in the trailer. But a poison ground type is very cool and it has the ability poison point and water absorb. So poison point reference in the poison type and then the water absorb is very cool for a ground type Pokemon, which has obviously that water type weakness. So being able to kind of resist water type um, moves being a ground type is very useful um, as one of its abilities. Then we've got some more information down here. They live on land and cover their bodies with a poisonous film, which was mentioned in the trailers. Powerful poisonous uh, liquid emits from their tough gills. These whoopers gills have hardened thanks to living on land for so long. Their bodies are heavy and they move slowly, but they can protect themselves by shooting powerful poisonous liquid from their gills. You may see poisoned Pokemon in the area where these whooper lives, but that's whooper. Uh, Palladian Whoopa is one of the Pokemon. Then the next Pokemon I think that got unveiled is Satitan. Satitan is an ice type. It is going to be one of the Pokemon or the kind of motif Pokemon of the ice type gym leader that we've already seen. Uh, Terra Will Pokemon. It's quite a large Pokemon as well. And it has the ability Thick Fat, which for an ice type is very useful, you know, weakening the um, fire and ice attacks that would ice attacks wouldn't be a problem but fire types would um, and then slush rush as well so if it's in a hail its speed is doubled very cool typing for this pokemon in general strong muscles and thick blubber which makes sense for the thick fat uh, ability on there so titan need to have tough muscles to be able to support their immense bodies and physical attacks using their bodies have incredible power they also migrate around the snowy regions protected by a thick layer of subcutaneous fat which is kind of interesting Essence of very fat looking Pokemon. It looks lean though on the pictures. I don't know if it's just me. So Titan has five hard horns among them. The horn on the upper jaw is able to gather ice energy, making the surrounding temperature extremely low and freezing the area around it. Cool. I'm always up for more ice type Pokemon. Really like ice types in general. They get a bit of a hard wrap competitively, but nonetheless, it's nice that we're seeing a new one already. It's got like hints to a Togekiss in there. You know, with the wings. I don't know if anyone else is picking up. Up on that but uh, that is Satitan that is Palladian Whooper and the only other one that we got really announced today brand new Pokemon is Fedor um, which is a kind of like just a big dog 
big dog Pokemon, which is a puppy Pokemon. It's a fairy type. It is made up of buns and it has the ability on tempo. It's a very cool looking Pokemon. I do like it and probably one of my more favorite ones out of the new Pokemon that we've had. For those moist, smooth skin has elastic qualities just like dough, I guess, and is both firm and soft at the same time. When these Pokemon become excited, they intimidate their opponents by puffing up their bodies to appear bigger. It's its breath contains useful yeast. Okay, Fido ferments things in its vicinity using its yeast in its breath, so it could make like alcoholic beverages and things like that. Said yeast is useful for cooking, so this Pokemon has been protected by people since long ago. Rather than eating this dog doughy Pokemon, people have protected it, which is nice to hear. So they are the three Pokemon that we got announced kind of today, um, but very exciting nonetheless. I think the, my favorite one out of them. I don't know, Pladian Whooper is very cool. Fido though is also nice. So let me know down below which one you like and which one you're looking forward to most using. Guess we can talk now about the gimmick because we got a bunch of information about the gimmick and that's the big thing that I wanted to talk about today. Terrastal Phenomenon is the new gimmick. Uh, what is Terrestrial Phenomenon? The Phenomenon is found only in the Paldea region and makes Pokemon shine and glimmer like gems. When a Pokemon terrestrializes, a Terra Jewel appears above the Pokemon's head like a crown and the Pokemon's body glistens like a cut gemstone. It's said that the terrestrial energy that seeps from the ground of the Paldea region is involved in the Phenomenon. Many details remain unclear but Professor Seda and Professor True are researching this mystery. Terra Jewel and the luster on the Pokemon's body differ depending on the type. So indicating that the Pokemon's type changes when it uses this terrestrialization um, in uh, the gimmick in the games and you can see that their typing is depicted by a kind of more like crystal kind of shape above their head. So here we've got a uh, Sprigatito and this gem above its head is kind of indicating that it is like more of a grass type. You've got Fucoco here with the kind of chandelier looking image above its head with the crystal uh, and that's indicating fire typing and then you've got the, the the water typing here for the it's like a fountain almost on Quaxley. Uh, all Pokemon that call the Paldea region home can terrestrialize. Master terrestrialization and dominate Pokemon battles. Terrestrializing holds the key to victory or defeat in battles in the Paldea region. All Pokemon in Paldea can terrestrialize to gain special powers. First each Pokemon has a Terra type. Pokemon's Terra type is inactive until the Pokemon terrestrializes, at which time the Pokemon's type will change to its Terra type. So this is confirming now that its type will change to its Terra typing when you activate the gimmick in game. So that's interesting. There's been a lot of kind of discussions about what this new gimmick will do, whether it will just give like a stab boost to a Pokemon. This pretty much confirms that its type will change when it uses this mechanic. For example, some Eevee will have a normal Terra type. So in that case, its type won't change. It'll just use the, 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 the mechanic and it stay as a normal type but some other Eevee have a flying Terra type. So then when you use the, the mechanic, then you're gonna gain or change into a flying type, which is cool. There are 18 types, meaning there are countless combinations of Pokemon and Terra types. So it's like, it's pretty much open-ended. Now, when we were doing the live reaction earlier on watching this live, we were like, are they gonna have just set types for certain Pokemon or is it gonna be open? Any Pokemon can have any Terra type. Obviously, some of them are gonna be rarer than others. We'll get into all the details. Terra slicing a Pokemon allows you to enhance your battle strategies by increasing the power of any moves that have the same type as your Pokemon's Terra type or by changing your Pokemon's weaknesses. When to activate this special transformation and the combination of Pokemon and Terra types, you choose to use use are all up to you. So it's going to be a bit like Mega Revolving, I guess, when you can, when you choose to Mega Revolve or Dynamax, you can pick the time in the battle when you want to do that. You can terrestrialize a Pokemon once per battle and transformation will last until the battle ends. So it is a bit like Mega Evolution that way. It's not got a time limit on it. It's not got a time limit like Dynamax has. It's not going to just be a one turn thing like a Z move either. So it will last until the battle ends or the Pokemon faints. When terrestrialized Pokemon uses a move that matches its Terra type and at least one of its original types, the, 
boost to that move's power will be even greater. So it kind of giving you an additional star boost on top of the already existing star boost or same type attack bonus that you would have. So you've got Lilligan in these pitches here. I'm presuming that when Lilligan turns into its terror type and it's a grass terror type, then it's going to get an additional boost on top of its already boosted grass attacks from its same type attack bonus, if you get what I mean. You will need a Terra Orb to terrestrialize a Pokemon. Only select trainers in Paldea region are allowed to carry this special item. Once you terrestrialize a Pokemon, your Terra Orb will lose all of its terrestrial energy and you won't be able to use it again until it's been recharged. You can charge your Terra Orb if you touch crystals overflowing with terrestrial energy or go to a Pokemon center. So this is the orb that you get. It looks like a strange kind of Pokeball and you can find shining crystals scattered around many locations throughout the region. And I guess there's one there, you can see it almost green. And this leads us on to the next part, which is the raid battles, which relate directly to this gimmick. So these terror raid battles are completely new battle format where you will be able to team up with three other trainers in order to take on terrestrialized wild Pokemon within a time limit. So very much like a Dynamax raid. In Terra Raid Battles, you can attack without waiting for the trainer's turn. So it sounds a little bit more like real time battles. So it's important that you cooperate with your fellow trainers at a quick pace. If you look at the trailer as well, it's kind of interesting when all of the, the, uh, the attacking Pokemon turn into their terrestrialization they are all grass types against what looks like a water type Gardevoir. So I don't know if everything Terra, Terra transforms in that battle into the same type or if you can have independent um, Terra transformations between all uh, partnering Pokemon to you. It'll be interesting to see how that works. The Pokemon that will appear in Terra raid battles are fierce, but you can join forces with other players to prove victorious. Seek out crystals for Terra raid battles. So a bit like the Dynamax raid dens that we, were, we had in Sword and Shield. These are going to be pretty much the same. These are going to be like crystals here. You can see them here. There's a green one. They're going to be around certain areas of the Paldea region. You'll be able to attempt a Terra raid battle by touching shining crystals. The colors of these crystals correspond to a Terra type uh, of the Terra Pokemon you'll encounter. So each Pokemon is going to have a Terra type. It's all going to be depicted by finding them out in the wild in these crystal like places. Obviously, anything in this crystal will have a terra type of grass because it's green and I'm assuming there's going to be a different crystal type for each of the typings that we have available within the games. They look almost like gemstones. Additionally, a sparkling pillar of light will shoot into the sky above any of these crystals, making them easy to spot in the distance. So a bit like the raid dens where you've got the beam going up and you're going to be able to spot them from far away. Because this Pokemon has a grass terra type, the crystal is also the color of the grass type. So like we were just saying, like each type will have their own corresponding crystal color to identify them by. You'll be able to choose Pokemon from your party or from your Pokemon boxes to participate in battles. And you can see here, Terra Raid Battle, uh, you can challenge as a group, you can challenge alone, or you can change your Pokemon. So pretty much the same options as you've got in um, Dynamax Raids um, in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And you can see here that this will be a Marl and it will actually have a Terra type in of grass, which is pretty cool. So it's a water fairy type in normally, and then it will get the Terra typing of grass. Uh, challenge Terra Pokemon. This battle system has a time limit and allows you to continue attacking seamlessly without having to wait for other trainers to choose their, their actions. Take on these battles by coordinating with your teammates and by increasing the stats of the Pokemon on your side or healing them. Note, a paid Nintendo Switch Online membership is required to interact with other trainers using the internet, which is pretty, you, you would imagine that is the case anyway. It's the same for uh, Dynamax Raids Online. Uh, Pokemon that appear in a Terra Raid may have a Terra type that differs from their usual types or typing usual type or types. So there we go. We've got a God of War here and it looks like a water type. Terra type God of War, which is pretty cool. And this is the, the image that I was talking about in the trailer where all of these Pokemon use the terrestrialization and they all have that grass type in above them, which makes it a bit easier to hit the, um, the Terra water type God of War. Expand your options in court play by cheering. Um, so cheering was something that we saw in Dynamax raids where if your Pokemon fainted you could cheer your opponent and then like 
give them a random boost of some sort, either healing them or a boost of other nature in there to help them beat whatever we're going up against. So imagine it'll be a lot like that. There are three kinds of cheers you can use. They will benefit all of the ally Pokemon on your side. The three effects are boosting attack and special attack, boosting defense and special defense and healing. So pretty much the same as what we've seen in Sword and Shield. Anybody can use these cheers, allowing you to play cooperatively, even if your Pokemon hasn't learned any moves to support the other Pokemon. Cooperation is the key to terror raid battles. Lead your side to victory by cheering. So there's the character cheering and then the effects of it happening to the partnering Pokemon, I guess. Catch, defeat, terror Pokemon. So just like max raid battles, once it's defeated, you're gonna be able to throw a Pokeball and catch this. Hopefully the catch rates are 100% on these things. I don't know if they will be though but more likely they'll be in line with how Dynamax raids interact. And uh, like you say, when, once you've defeated Pokemon, you're gonna be able to catch them. How to participate in terror raid battles. You will be able to search for allies to join your terror raid battles. Uh, you can join someone else who is searching for allies in the terror battles as well. Work together with trainers across the world to try your hand at these battles. So a bit like max raid battles online, you can access other raids and then imagine you can put yeah a link code in there and then um, you can search for players to join just like you do with raid battles online but very exciting new mechanic has been announced confirmed and it is those terror transformations other things that we're gonna just cover quickly before we finish We've got enjoy Pokemon with your friends in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You can trade and battle with friends all over the world by using the feature called the Poke Portal. Use the Nintendo Switch system local wireless uh, to connect with people nearby and use an internet connection to interact with people from all over the world. Enjoy co-op play with the Union Circle. So the Union Circle was shown in the trailers, um, which is next to most of the Pokemon centers, I believe. Your adventure is bound to be more enjoyable by playing with friends, cooperating to be Terra Pokemon in Terra raid battles and sometimes even testing your skills against each other you can play with up to three friends at a time there is no single way to play using the union circle you can wander around together and spend time with your friends how you want to so coordinate with your friends in the grasp of victory and that'll be the the, the terror battles and then you can also just do random story mode stuff and also do riding around the region on all of your legendary pokemon that everyone has access to trade with pokemon with each other so you can trade as well using the poker portal and then battle together as well if you go to the link battle option on the poker portal you'll be able to have pokemon battles with other trainers there are many battle formats hone your skills in battle with the trainers from all around the world using the pokemon you trained so that's confirming that we'll be able to hook up and uh, battle with your friends and things like that which is pretty cool and then we've got look the way you want as well look the way you want when you explore Paldia. Arrange your looks and hairstyle to freely change your appearance. In Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you can now make changes to your character's eyes, shape, mouth shape, and more to look the way you want to look. It's probably gonna be very similar to how Sword and Shield has it, but with maybe a few more options alongside it. And the final thing before we end up today is the special Pikachu as an early purchase bonus. So the pre-orders are up now for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. By purchasing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, early you will receive a special Pikachu as a gift and this is going to be a, a flying type Terra Pikachu. So this Pikachu has two un unique characteristics. It knows the move Fly which is kind of reminiscent to the Flying Pikachu. We've had Flying Pikachu events before, um, which it normally can't learn, and its Terra type is flying. So we've got a nice picture of the, the, the crystallized flying Terra Pikachu here. Uh, you can receive this by choosing Get Via the Internet from Mystery Gift feature in your game up until Tuesday the 28th of February 2023. So you're gonna have a plenty of time to get this in game if you do pre-order it uh, or get an early copy of it anyway. So that Pretty much is most of the things that we wanted to cover today. It is a bit of a longer video, of course, but there was a lot of information in today's trailer. Very exciting, but let me know down below what your thoughts are on all of the information that we've seen in the trailers so far today and the only information that we covered in this video. I've tried to kind of lump everything together because even going back and watching the trailer now myself, it's just an overload with so much information they've put out. Um, so hopefully breaking it down in this video today, giving my thoughts on things as well. 
gives you a bit more of a digestible way of all the information that we've got. I'll probably be doing more videos on the specific different things as we go forward later and in the coming weeks to kind of discuss things, especially about the new mechanic and other aspects that have been released. But let me know down below what your favorite thing from the trailer was today. Was it more than what you expected? And how hype are you about these new games dropping later this year? Three months time? Seems a long time, but it will fly around and I cannot wait for them. Thank you so much for tuning in. As I mentioned at the start of the video, if you have found it useful, have enjoyed it, please remember to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe for more of these videos very soon and I will see you all for another video in the next few days. So till then friends, take care, bye bye.